Hey guys. So, someone asked me to give them some advice on coming to Japan. So, they're going to Osaka. I live in Hiroshima. That's like Texas and New York in terms of difference. Well, maybe not that bad, but you get the idea. So, first things first, Japan does not sell stick deodorant. Keep that in mind. At least, I can't find any place to, that sells it, so I have to import it via people sending me packages or buying it off the internet or things like that. Uh, something else, I suggest you buy a cell phone, a bike, and if you can afford it, an electronic dictionary. Cell phones are your lifeline, it's how everyone gets in touch with you, work, professors, friends, a bike, if you have knee problems, you're going to have issues in Japan, period, but it's easy, fast, short distance transportation, that's what a bike is, it's the difference between 10 minutes, about 10 minutes going to work for me, and about a 30 minute walk. So, though I want to be sweaty when I get to work, because it's so humid here, it's pretty much impossible not to sweat. Which is why you need to stick deodorant, because you're going to sweat. doesn't matter if you've never sweat before in your life in America, because it's so dry there. You're going to sweat in Japan, because it's so humid here. And it's humid because it's an island, and as an island they have fish and if you like fish Japan is awesome if you hate fish Japan sucks now I'm not saying that you're not going to survive here and I'm not saying that the Japanese seafood is exactly like American or European seafood but most people are not willing to try something different and because of that they basically have to stick with whatever they're used to and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you if you don't try Japanese seafood you're seriously missing out because Japan has some pretty awesome seafood um, let's see as you know, Japanese is more important to speak than English. There are a good amount of Chinese and Koreans that only speak Japanese in terms of uh, the second language that they speak. They don't know any English, and if they do know English, they don't think that they're very good at it. That's actually why Japanese people generally speaking, don't like speaking in English because they don't think they're good at it. They're pretty good at it, but most of them are just afraid to. It's kind of like most Westerners are afraid to speak in a different language. It also is kind of weird and makes you feel uncomfortable. If anyone has ever spoken in Japanese in a cafe in America and had people staring at you while you and your friend were practicing your Japanese, you understand where I'm coming from, because you feel really awkward. But it is totally helpful, so feel free to be awkward like me. Uh, English is good though, it helps you get teaching jobs. Uh, I've actually had a couple of people get sort of, mm, I guess you could say jealous, because I am a native English speaker, thus they are very willing to hire me, and my English does not have a thick accent, so they don't have any problem understanding me. I have, I speak like an American. Most of them understand American English. Very few understand British English. Which is kind of sad because I kind of enjoy listening to British English and it's always fun to hear a Japanese person with a British accent, but I digress. 
Japanese is far better to use. Try your best to use as much Japanese as you can. When you do come to Japan, your body's going to adjust. And that means you're going to have some health problems. So if you have asthma, it may start to act up. And also if you have asthma, be sure to get a prescription for your inhaler. Pretty much most medicines you're going to have to get a prescription for in case you didn't know that already. But even something like an inhaler, you need a prescription for that over here. Other things include uh, if you have bad knees, they might start acting up, especially with all the walking and riding of bicycles that you will be doing. If you're allergic to anything, I suggest you learn the kanji immediately, unless you enjoy sitting in hospitals and paying incredibly high hospital bills, which Japan has some pretty expensive hospital bills. Foods that they have over here that you might be allergic to are wheat, chicken, pork, fish, shellfish, and dairy products. They also have peanuts, but I haven't really had too big of an issue with that. Uh, though I'm not allergic to peanuts, so I guess I wouldn't really notice. Mm. Also, about a month after you get here, you're going to go through your body adjusting to the new environment. And that means getting sick. That means a runny nose, a slightly sore throat, things like that. Just some random fun little facts for you to know and enjoy if you're going to be over here over Christmas. Uh, Colonel Sanders is Santa Claus and also Christmas is a couple's holiday not a family holiday. So if you're curious as to why people are always going out with their girlfriends and boyfriends on Christmas it is because it's a couple's holiday. It's sort of like Valentine's Day, but Christmas. So yeah, that's just a general basic rundown. In case you're wondering why I've been slacking on videos, it's simply because I'm getting ready for school. I start classes next week. I have work every day next week. I had work every day this week. I worked both my jobs this week, and uh, I'm getting ready for classes, mostly. You know how it goes when you start classes. Anyway, uh, the random videos that you're watching are just some videos that I've filmed over this time of not posting anything, and it's mostly because... I didn't have anything to say for those videos, but I kind of felt like filming. I'm sure if anyone out there has a YouTube account, they might know sort of the feeling that I get. It's kind of like sometimes you just want to take a picture of things if you're a photographer, but you don't really have anything that strikes you as artistic, so you just kind of start taking pictures. Anyway, so... Yeah. Peace.